education beat tonight. Members of the Flower Bluff School Board held a public meeting this evening to get input on a controversial proposal there, allowing the Flower Bluff ISD to become a district of innovation. Our Michelle Pedraza has more on what that actually means and why some are not in favor of the idea. Michelle? Well, Joe, tonight Flower Bluff ISD board agreed for its district to go forward and adopt an innovation plan. This will essentially give the district more local control. District of Innovation passed into law in, back in 2015 and of 1100 school districts across Texas. Right now, over 850 of them have an innovation plan. Each one pursues it for different reasons. Many districts want specific innovations like curriculum, parent community involvement or other ideas. Flower Bluff ISD is in interested in having a more flexible school calendar, which will allow staff more time to prepare. When the state restricted us so much with our calendars, our teachers right now have, I think it's 12 in service days. There's no time in the day for a teacher to sit down and meet with their department at, you know, for a lengthy amount of time to have time to really discuss their curriculum and what it is that they wish to do. This is one way to give them the time at work so they're not having to do it after school or before school. Though a more flexible calendar would be a beneficial be beneficial for the district, another aspect of the district of innovation is bringing in professionals to the classroom who have real world experience but lack a teacher certification, a concern to some. They don't have a the background of classroom management. They don't know how to differentiate their lessons, their classrooms. And they don't understand all the accommodations and modifications of special education teacher, as well as their um, English learner. It's not so much a decrease in learning as it is an increase of violence in our schools. The improper in uh, proper relationships we are having with students and their teachers because they're not vetted is ultimately up to the committee to determine what facets of District of Innovation they want to take part in. The committee will include teachers and parents. The board now has 30 days to choose a committee that will start creating the innovation plan. And once that is completed, it will go into effect next year. Joe. Okay, Michelle, thanks.